funniest time I remember is it. If it wasn't for our little investigation, Paima wouldn't ever come anywhere near this ah, place. Ah, so if I want to ditch you, finally, I should just come to this place. Uh, hey, look. Yanfe. What are you doing in the chasm alone? Oh, Traveler and Paimon? I didn't expect to see you two The feeling's here. mutual. Yanfe? Shouldn't you be at work in Lile Harbor? What are you doing out in the middle of nowhere? Well, to be perfectly honest, this case is a little out of the ordinary. In fact, this is the first time I've ever witnessed the bottom of the chasm. Oh, but before I forget, could you do me a favor, please? If anyone happens to ask about me or my present whereabouts, just tell them you haven't seen me. I got a feeling we won't be out here for a while, so I don't think that's a problem. Huh? What are you talking about? You did something illegal? No, no, it's not like that. Uh, look, it's... Well, I'm not a lawyer, so, you know, I think you got yourself covered if that's the case. So if you could, please just cover I for me. I got your back, like you, you got mine. Wait, where are you running off to? Wait, is this like a public picnic place now? Hey! And there she goes. What in Tavet was that all about? Uh, is that your new one-liner? She did something illegal and now she's gone into hiding here. She's a legal <laughs> advisor, Paimon. Don't be so naive. What do you mean naive? Who are you calling naive, punk? These days, you know? We should be prepared for the worst. What have you been reading on our journey anyways? We might find ourselves becoming our accomplices. You know, that would be so bad. Well, you know, technically, Paimon, haven't we done illegal stuff already? Oh, what a dilemma. Should we really cover for her? Um... <laughs> oh, hey, you over there. Yeah, you. Who, me? <gasps> Someone's coming. But that voice sounds pretty familiar. And, uh, rings a bell. Ito! And, uh, um, <laughs> devil you fruit user? So, uh, what are you two doing in a place like this, huh? Wait, don't tell me. Hmm, you're on vacation. And you are too, I assume? I must say, you two are looking pretty good. Things been going your way lately? Because I have been doing amazing. <laughs> so what made you come to the bottom of the abyss, Ito? Uh, Ito? Who's that behind Would you me? mind introducing me to her? Hey there. I'm with the Arataki gang. Kuki Shinobu. Nice to meet you. Oh, <laughs> all right. I almost forgot she was back there. Let she is your back, you right? To Shinobu, the pride and joy of the Arataki gang. <laughs> I love she doesn't even just shut her it off. Oh, another member of Ito's gang. Let me tell you, she's one of Hanamizaka's best and brightest, so of course she's in the gang. Shinobu takes care of practically everything in the like she's practically gang. the face of the Take gang, you Ito. Too, you know? Friend of the boss is a friend of mine. You must be the traveler in Paimon. You really call him the boss, don't you? Yep, yep. Nice to meet you too, nice Shinobu. Nice to meet you too, Shinobu. Now, could you tell me what you guys are doing here too? The pleasure's mine. I have a feeling that we'll be working together soon enough. <laughs> so, uh, Ito... If she's the one that takes care of everything in the gang, then doesn't that kind of make her the gang's real boss? So what do you do exactly, Ito? <sighs> Are you kidding? Of course I'm the boss. To the four corners of Tavat, there is only one boss of Hanamizaka's legendary Arataki gang. Cookie. Um, uh, okay, Paimon gets the dynamic now. A useless boss with an ultra-capable subordinate. Hey, where have we seen that dynamic before? A renowned traveler traveling with a completely useless travel companion. Hey, you... Uh, you know what? Forget it. The average person couldn't possibly understand the dynamics of the Arataki gang. As the leader, I can't let myself stoop down to your level. <clears throat> anyway, have you seen a pink-haired legal, uh, mage lady? Uh-oh. Um. Her name's Yenfei. She's a legal advisor from Liyue. I thought perhaps you two would know her. Yeah, why are you guys looking for her anyways? Oh, no, we haven't seen her. We you let us slip the moment you said, uh-oh. Aha, so you have yeah, seen her. Yeah, we have. But you gotta tell me before I reveal her. Well, whereabouts? What do you uh, want with her? No, what gave you that idea? Aw, look at you getting all antsy. Ha! <laughs> Seems I was able to get to the truth after all. Only Ito can handle Paimon clearly, the way she deserves to be treated. When someone is lying, their eyes often start wandering subconsciously. Out of all the traveling companions I gotta be stuck with, it had to be you, huh? <laughs> anyway, don't worry. I assure you we don't have any ill intentions. So, uh, you guys know Yamve? Well, she, uh, kind of saved my life, so... Yeah, you could say we've met. She saved your life? Wait! I'm sorry, my plan might come be a bit slow. Anyway. You know that the Sakoku decree has been lifted recently in Inazuma, right? Well, Shinobu wanted to come to Liyue and pick up her graduation certificate. I came along because it's safer to travel in numbers. Graduation certificate? Did you study in Liyue? Yeah, actually, if you guys didn't know, Kuki and Yanfei were studying law in Liyue together. Yes, I studied law at the Tongwen Academy in Liyue. 
Unfortunately, the Sakoku Decree was implemented just when I was home visiting my family before graduation. So I'm a few years late getting my graduation certificate. We were taking care of some errands in Liyue, and the boss got tangled up with some Millilith while we were standing in a line. He was about to get arrested when, luckily, Yenfei happened to be walking past and Wait, isn't helped this us out. your job, Kuki? What's yep. Yenfei doing there? If it wasn't for her, our trip to Liyue would have ended with me and the Slammer. <laughs> so, you know, I just wanted to do something nice to show my heartfelt gratitude. But she said she didn't need my help with anything. I thought there's a chance she might run into trouble here on her own, so I followed her here. Yeah, just in case she needs me to come leaping to her rescue. Do only usually repay acts of kindness like this? Listen, Granny said that a man must learn to be grateful. And uh, he's a I'm man, all right, a big man child. Lady, no matter what it takes. That's nice and all, but what if she really doesn't need your help? <laughs> You're joking, right? I mean, that's not possible. Of course, she needs my help. Cookie, I'm so glad you're with him. <clears throat> Traveler. What is it, Cookie? That way. Yante went that way. Ah, great. Thanks. I'll go after her. Shinobu, time to roll. You're not my savior. Ito's coming to your rescue. Please continue to take best care of him now, Cookie. Appreciate the help. Until next time. Until next time. Uh, traveler, did you just send Ito the wrong way on No, purpose? what do you mean? Alright, now let's go take a look at the crash site from last time. I thought it was plugged up from last time, so the whole reason we're here. Perilous Trail, Interlude Tab Rag 2. Look, Yenfei is here too! Wait, what's she still doing hey, here? Yenfei, we sent away the people that were following you. Oh, good. Thanks a lot. The guy with the weird outfit seemed super outgoing. Normally, I don't mind making friends, Yeah, not friends, what you do would be in the same way, like. work to do today. Huh? So what kind so what of work? Kind of work are you doing in a place like this? Well, as a legal advisor, sometimes I also have to travel in person. I came to the chasm to deal with a will. A will? A will? That's right. I found a will inside an old book. I'm guessing it was left by someone of great importance. It appears he lost a magical device and wished to retrieve it. Paimon didn't know legal advisors have to deal with that kind of thing. Will execution is also part of my work as a legal advisor. Of course, cases like this are quite rare. The chasm is not the kind of place you can just waltz into whenever so, you want. So, why are you waltzing into here all on your own? Oh, so you do know what kind of place this is. How long were you telling us, Yelam? <laughs> Who's that? Ah, oh, I thought I might find you here. There she makes her actual appearance. Hey, thanks for saving my life, though I won't actually admit to that. Whatever case you're working on in the chasm, I'm sure Liyue's top legal consultant can handle it without my input. <laughs> That's funny. I thought we'd established that my legal opinion doesn't count for anything when Yelon's around. Uh, who is she? This is Yelon. Liu is, uh... Well, let's just say she works in the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I can at least say that much, right? Hey, don't look at me. Anyway, she's your she's friend. A friend of mine. Sure. Coincidentally, I have something to do here as well. Seems chance has brought us all together. Don't you mean fate? You may not know me, Traveler and Paimon. But I've certainly heard about you. Yeah, actually, what did you hear in particular? You're all here on business. I'm it's about to have a lot of funny rumors about me. According to regulations, I should accompany you. All right, man. But as it turns out, I have other things that require my attention. I'm afraid I can't join you this time. You may go about your business. Just try not to make a ruckus. Oh, that's most unfortunate. I was about to ask for your assistance. Could you spare a little time to help me take care of this will? For old time's sake? Hmm, I don't know. Depends what's in it for me. <laughs> Fair enough. I suppose even a guide needs to get paid. It just so happens that Madame Ping gave me some nice tea. I'll treat you to a cup if you agree. <laughs> Why don't you tell me a little more about how you got here first? Then I'll... Hey, you! Uh, and Ito's here. I know what you two did. You really tried to throw me off, didn't you? <laughs> well... And I thought we were buds. Well, they're my friends too, so get in line, punk. That's close enough. Huh? Who are you? Sorry, this area is part of the chasm. It's closed to the general public. Are you kidding me? I, I, I don't see any warning signs or fences. What gives you the right to keep me out? Kid, where there's real danger, you'll never see a warning sign. Uh, Paimon never knew this place was so important. It really is a mysterious place. It's true. This is not a place you can just go in and out of as you wish. That's also why I didn't want anyone to follow me. 
Unfortunately, you didn't listen. The Traveler has done a lot for Liyue in the past. And Yenfei is a renowned legal consultant in Liyue, so I can trust their intentions. God damn it. As for you two... Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You're trying to say that I'm not <laughs> famous enough and my intentions are no good? Yeah? I don't know your background, so I can't give you free passage here. Besides, Yenfei doesn't seem to need your help, does she? <laughs> How would you know what Yenfei needs? What are you two joined at the hip or something? <laughs> anyway, I don't need to be a mind reader to see that. You gotta stick to the rules, you know. In any case, Good as intentions a are not. Azuma, I'd suggest you defer to a local when in doubt. Stick to the local rules and keep yourself out of trouble. I gotta agree, though. <coughs> Why you? Please, try not to be so impulsive. She is right, you know. Uh-oh. Things are starting I'm another to not almighty here. legendary traveler. Okay, oh, times like this, you should good. open your mouth shouldn't start butting heads with Yelon. It's true that we don't know anything about the unique conditions of this place. So we'll heed your advice and leave immediately. But if this really is a dangerous area, seriously, you should put up a sign. Thanks for the suggestion. I'll consider it. Oh yeah? And what if we don't leave? Hmm? Boss! Then, I'm afraid things might get... unpleasant. Is that so? You really think you can take the two of us? The two of us, eh? I'd admit I like your you know, optimism. You know, at least pretend you can man up and do this on your own. Although you're friends with the traveler and Yenfei, I'd still see you. know, I won't let that happen my on my watch. <laughs> Settle down, <laughs> both of you. That, but uh too bad I'm not buying it. If you're so strong, then why don't you show me what you got? Hold on, boss. There's no need to start a fight here. Oh no, I'm going in whether she likes it or not. <laughs> you think I was joking around, huh? Who's joking anymore, anyways? <laughs> Traveler, get in there. Please wait a minute, you two. This whole thing started because of me. Why don't you what just the, the ground is shaking? Just... Uh -oh. it's a... <laughs> what are you guys set off? Stop trying to change the subject. I'm gonna. Uh, you moron! Uh -huh. The ground is shaking. It's in your head full of rocks. Uh -huh. Can you not feel a tremor uh -huh. happening when it does? And down we go. Ouch. What happened? Forget about me. You are right. Putting my books under me to break the fall didn't help at all. She knows how to use books in many different ways. <sighs> this place. Hmm. Are we all down here together? What the hell? Uh, I'm gonna feel that in the morning. Uh, hey, Shinobu, traveler, and my savior. Is everyone okay? <sighs> well, this is an unfortunate turn of events. Hey, so, uh... How far down did we fall? Beats me, Paimon. Hmm. It seems the ground collapsed during our little confrontation up there. Perhaps because we triggered the elemental forces. I'm giving you two a timeout oh, now. Don't look at me. If you weren't so rude, maybe I wouldn't have gotten mad. <sighs> Who can put up with that kind of dude? It's my duty to stop intruders from breaking into important places. If telling the truth sounds rude, and I'm afraid you're just a little too fragile. Hey, life's too short to give in all the time. Boss, I'm afraid you're not going to win this argument. I suggest we stop provoking her. Hey, whose side are you on here? I'm simply pointing out the facts. I understand how you feel, but you're making my life difficult by starting random fights with everyone. <laughs> Looks like Ito can't argue against either Ito Ito and Shinobu are kind of like you and me. Uh, hey! Whoa, whoa, what do you mean? You looking for a fight too? <laughs> Everyone knows you're a bit of an idiot. You calling me an idiot? Oh yeah? Well you're a, a puny little flying lavender melon, ha! Huh? Flying lavender melon? You know, oh, I like that. That's it! Mag! Time to give you an ugly nickname! I bow checker! We seem to be a long way down from where we fell. It's impossible to see what's going on up above. Now where the hell are we? <sighs> it's unlikely we'll be able to climb back up that far. We'll need to find another way. I'm sorry to interrupt your lovely little chat here, but I think there's something you may need Let's to go, know. Let's go, Bald Sucker and Flying Lavender Melon. The chasm is regarded as a mysterious area in Liyue. Good thing it goes even deeper down. For years due to a mining accident. Whatever goes on down here, I suggest you remember this. You didn't see anything, you didn't hear anything, and you're not gonna ask any questions. Save you from getting caught up in things you shouldn't know about. I won't treat you as hostiles. And in exchange, I hope you won't make things difficult when it comes to keeping so secrets. So even Yeon got her buttons pushed. I'll do what I can to By the one and only numero uno, Ito. Huh? 
Huh? Well, where does she think she's going? Like she said, to search for an exit. Chances are that Yelan is the best among us at survival and handling emergencies. We should just let her go. I'm afraid I must apologize. I don't typically disclose details of a client's will to third parties, which is why I couldn't tell you the truth. <sighs> I'm sorry. I came to the chasm in search of the fantastic compass. Fantastic which compass. Is mentioned in the will. Many That's the ago, thing she's looking my for. My client gave this magical device to someone ambitious, hoping that it'd be handy in times of need. The search for what? According to an eyewitness account, the person who received the device took it into the chasm and has been missing ever since. What the Throughout hell? Throughout history, many wars have been fought in the vicinity of the chasm. Even if that person died in one of the wars, I still wish to do my utmost and find the device and fulfill the client's wish. Yelan's words of caution were not unwarranted. There are dangers lurking in the chasm. I'm sure you've all realized that by now. Given that we're all caught in this mess, let's try to find a way out together. Whatever you say, my savior, I'll do whatever you ask. From now on, we're a team. All of us. And as for that big jerk, well... Hmm, I guess that includes her too. You said Yelan works for the Ministry of Civil Affairs, huh? Paimon can tell she's tougher than most, but... Wow. Her job sounds demanding! Well, that's what she tells outsiders. I can't disclose too much about her identity, but I'd say she's the only person who can handle this type of work. What kind of lame job would have someone go out to the <laughs> middle of nowhere? Oh, Paimon knows! An adventurer! Huh? Hey, what's with the face? Oh, did Paimon say something wrong? I'm the adventurer, Paimon. Literally what the two of us Not do, you. is it? She's got a point, Traveler. You're Paimon's boss. Take it from me. As a great leader, you should learn to be a little more generous. Huh? You know, let your side Wait, wait. You know, don't school me. Ugh, you really don't understand anything yeah, about Yeah, I'm obviously it. superior. Paimon, don't take him too seriously. He's just joking. Ugh, for the sake of Shinobu. <laughs> I'm the boss, so <laughs> I'll let it stay. No, I'm the boss. Perhaps this was another sealed location. But an undocumented one. What could be in here? I've got some food and water on me. If anyone needs some, just let me know. Great! You know, Bull Checker, you may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but your subordinate here is. Ada, you better respond. I'm on your side. I'm tired of this stingy piece of shit around me. <laughs> I know. Isn't she the best? What? Hey! There seems to be an entrance up ahead with a path inside. You know, one I of these days, Travel will put too. Paimon in her place. <laughs> What did you find, Yelan? Who would have guessed we'd find a domain entrance in a place like this? Of course, it's a domain. If there's a way in, then there's a way out. Let's go and take a look. The rocks here Should we really be that hasty? Leoa mountain rocks. They're similar to what I've seen in books. This domain must have existed for quite some time now. <laughs> hmm? What's that sound? <sighs> We meet again. Ah! Oh! Conqueror of Demons, what are you doing here? Huh? Hmm. Oh, uh, I came down from above. Uh, I heard a noise, so I followed it here. Hey, I was actually talking to another person other than us. So you're not Properly. here by hmm. Wanna team up? Say no. No, I have something else to do. Is it something important? I'm looking for someone. From how many years back, Shao? You shouldn't be here. I would urge you to go back as soon as possible. So what do you sense? And there he goes. That's show for ya! Huh. That guy looked pretty tough. Maybe almost as tough as me. Seems like a solid dude. Yeah, go wait for him to kick your ass. Seriously, bull checker? Should we really be letting him go off on his own? You're better off not underestimating him like that. Oh, he wouldn't listen no matter how much you tried to talk him out of it. Everyone, keep your eyes and ears peeled from here on out. We don't know what lies ahead. So we have to be ready for anything. Oh, look, I'm happy to say we're all on the same team and everything, but uh, could you cut the little speeches and the whole follow the leader act? You do. Stop making things difficult, you yourself? pain in my ass. Boss! Ugh, okay, okay. Besides, Yelan is just looking out for everyone. You know, Bullchucker. Ha! Please, you're not a local either, Flying Lavender Melon. So stop trying to sound like one. What are you saying is true, Paimon? Where exactly are you from, huh? Labyrinths like this are unique to Liyue. Wow. This place is actually pretty cool. 
If we weren't in such a hurry to get out, we could kick back and enjoy the scenery a little. What the hell is this place? Yeah, it's what Yanfei said the last time we saw a domain like this was when we were going to see the moon carver and whatnot. Order Kaiju. Rex Lab is here. He knows what I'm talking about. What the hell? Or maybe I lost Yaksha. I don't know. So, guys, the thing is, if you guys do not know, in the chasm, there was a battle that was fought by a single Yaksha and the Millet back when the Riftones attacked Lugua. And that was the Electro Yaksha. And his whereabouts after the battle is completely unknown. We kind of learn about it from the new set and the tenacity of Millet set. So, I don't want to, you know, elaborate on it too much here. But if you guys are interested, I'd advise you to just, you know, check out the lore. Just read the description. Go. Bro, this sounds like Sumeru. This sounds like an OST from feckin' Sumeru. I'm out. Enough. Leave it to man. Oh, that was quick. Huh? Wait. This ain't right. We're back at the same place. How did we end up back here? So we've been here already? Yes, this is exactly where we started. But we couldn't have taken a wrong turn. We were headed in the same direction the entire time. Yes. That's what I thought too. It's a maze, right? We were going the right way. I thought we? we were heading in the right direction, yeah. How strange. Unless it's a maze a that loops you around. About a merchant who was tricked by a Bake Danuki one evening and kept circling around the same place the whole night. Even by dawn, they still hadn't found a way out. Yeah. Paimon's heard that one before too. Me too, so I all think. Familiar with the story then? Good. Because I'm pretty sure that's what's happening to us right now. But fear not. I happen to have a certain sidekick who can exercise it's not a yokai and you moron. spirits and whatnot. Unbelievable. An Oni who's friends with an exorcist? Huh. What an open-minded guy. <laughs> because there's nothing in its mind, Paimon. For the boss, ignorance is a virtue. <sighs> For people in general sometimes. You're up, Ushi. Go get your spirit. Wait, Ushi? Ushi? Wait, Ushi's exorcist? <laughs> Wait, really? I thought Ushi was just a decoration. This is Ushi, an auxiliary member of the Arataki gang. <laughs> Let him finish comment. All right. <laughs> oh, Ushi says hello, everyone. You can just call him Ushi or Beefcake. Ooh, he's edible? He's got a keen sense of direction, so I'll let him lead the way. <laughs> I didn't know gangs could have auxiliary members. I didn't even know what auxiliary members meant until now. This does not have the trappings of something that's going to work. You're telling me. All right, go, Ushi. Go find us a way out of here. Yeah. Ushi begins to look around for a hidden exit. Huh? What's that? Oh. Oh, no way. What's wrong? Ushi says he searched everywhere, but there's no exit. That doesn't add up. If we were able to come in, then there must be a way to get out. Has anyone else noticed this? We initially thought we fell here from above. Did we that reset time? 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 Did we go back in time? Ahead. But now, it seems even that exit has disappeared. That could only mean that it hasn't broken yet? No. Inexplicable, if you ask me. Strange. It seems there's more than meets the eye with these underground structures. I'm gonna take another look around. Everywhere we look, there are just more and more rocks. Like your head. What? You scared now? N no. Paimon's super brave. Alright, now let's push her into the domain all alone. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, Ushi also thinks you're scared. It's okay. Don't be scared to admit you're, uh, <laughs> scared. You've got us here to protect you. Yeah, just us, not me. We can't just sit here twiddling our thumbs. Let's keep looking for a way out. Shinobu, you stay here with my precious savior. I'll take the traveler and Paimon. To what me. do I owe the pleasure? Got it. Be careful, everyone. Please, there's no need to keep calling me savior. Just, Yanfei is fine. Come on, you're already friends now, Mr. Ito. Arataki. It seems that as the head of the Arataki gang, you possess a strong sense of leadership. Ah, too kind, too kind. And just call me Ito. Since we're a team now, we should have each other's backs. Uh, Paimon, if you feel scared again, I can cover your eyes for you. Permanently? You split into teams and investigate the surroundings, but fail to find anything. <sighs> Hmm. Seems there's really no way out. All right. Well, finally we can eat her for proper reasons. I can't shake the feeling that there's something off about this place. Like we went back in time. Boss, did you guys find anything over there? No, not them. Not only that, I could have sworn I saw some shadows moving a second ago. <sighs> this place better not be haunted. Probably not the right time to ask this, but Paimon just can't help it. Ito, you're an Oni. 
Doesn't it kind of mean everywhere you go is haunted? Aren't you like a yokai? No, ignore the red horns, okay? I I'm talking uh, uh, about wait, smoky, no. floaty ghosts. <laughs> now you see them, now you don't kind of haunt it. Uh, I'm not really you know, fond of that myself. Afraid of ghosts? Oh no, boss. You've been found out. <laughs> What? Me? <laughs> no way! What? Are you kidding? <laughs> Stop choking around. <laughs> Looking at you, Paimon suddenly doesn't feel scared anymore. Hey, Bullchuck, this thing is ego, scared, I swear. I can cover your eyes for you. <sighs> Maybe I should make better use of my time. <laughs> Maybe you should make better life decisions and join an idiot for life. Add a little salt and some pepper. Survival tips? Are you sure you're not an adventurer? Roasted lavender melon is delicious. You can try some when it's done. Oh, right. There are two types, sweet and savory. Which would you prefer? No, I want sweet. All right, you can try them both then. Ooh. It's important that we remain calm, especially when we're in the throes of a tough situation like this. This ain't the first time for you, Em. If I'm reading the situation correctly, there seems to be some secret here that the boss and I are not supposed to know about. But don't worry. I'll distract the boss. Will you discuss things with the others? Now, I feel like the boss is pretty distracted with two idiots. Oh, I thought I smelled something cooking. You're hungry too. Would you like some Yunfei? Thank you, but I'm not hungry. You guys go ahead. Alright, it's all for me then. Oh, and by the way, I haven't seen you in a while, Shinobu. Yeah, it has been a while, hasn't it? The last time I saw you was when you taught one of my classes as a substitute while I was studying in Liyue. Wow, she was a teacher at that time. A substitute teacher? Ah, yes, now I remember. It was during winter, wasn't it? Yes, I remember everyone said your lecture was very interesting. Now that I think about it, I should call you Senpai. Ooh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can call her, you know, teacher or master. Is Senpai just a universal word? Isn't that, you know, Japanese? <sighs> Who would have ever guessed that we'd get caught up in such a dilemma together? It must so be. So tell me, does Yanfei's lectures also put you to sleep? Not only that. She's funny and engaging while she speaks. Needless to say, she's very popular. Well, she's speaks. an all-rounder. Well, you know, she is a squeaky ball of fire. <laughs> oh, I'm flattered. All right, she'd like that. <sighs> I see everyone is still here. So what did you find? Yelon, we split into groups and searched the area, but there are no signs of any way out. How about you? Did you manage to find anything? Are we under some kind of spell? Or did we really go back in time to when this, you know, didn't break at all? No. And, though I'd prefer not to say it, we'd better mentally prepare ourselves. If we can't find a way out, we may be stuck underground for some time. <sighs> I think you might be right. Oh, like lavender melon? I understand. Paimon, come here. The fire looks really good. It'll look even better, ain't it? But no exit. It just doesn't make any sense. I'll figure something out. Just give me some time. If anyone happens to find a potential exit, Please be sure to take every precaution before exploring further. Come to think of this, Xiao's here too. He said we can always call his name if we get into trouble. Maybe it's worth a try. Hey, traveler, what's with Well, I was just thinking about Xiao. He's also here, Do remember? You have a plan? Xiao. Oh, right. It was worth Do a try, Paimon. Sure. Let's give it a shot. You want to open your mouth? She's going to open her mouth. I'm disappointed in you more and more, kid. Huh. Even Xiao can't hear us, though. Uh, Xiao? Huh. No response. We're really cut off that from maybe Tevat as a whole. Oh no, does that mean even Xiao can't sense our presence here? Seems so, Paimon. This is bad. Isn't it, Traveler? Wonder what that could mean, what's it deal with this place? Who could have ever guessed we'd get trapped in a place it's like so cool, this? It's so cool, it even echoes here. It's quite the predicament. For all the studying I've done in my life, all I know is how to land people in prison. I don't know the first thing about breaking out of one. I've even made a contract with my father to live a happy life. I can't give up hope now. Try and stay positive. At least I've explored a new place and seen more of the world while reuniting with some old friends. <laughs> yeah, there's still a silver lining. You're giving a despair a little too quick for a person who has a contract to live a happy long life. Imagine up. Uh, not the end of the world. If anything, <laughs> Ito will keep us all entertained for eons on end. That's it. I want to take another look. And this time, I, Arataki, uh, the one and only, will... Boss! Whoa, whoa. What's up, Sourpuss? Time for some roasted lavender melon. Ooh. Huh? We're trapped in a life and death situation underground, and you're telling me it's time for roasted lavender melon? Interesting. You hear that? Ushi says you're completely right. Wait, 
Hold on, whose side are you on, Beefcake? It's important to stay replenished. We must keep our energy and morale up in preparation for facing the unknown. Even Ushi knows that. Fine, you two are... Hey, are you already... Hey, say me some. Well, hold on, is it still warm? Oh, oh that does smell good. Hmm. Fine, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just... We'll have a quick snack and then we'll, uh... And then we'll keep looking for a way out. Hey, don't eat them all, I'll leave a couple for me! What are you not telling us? Our situation is grim. There doesn't appear to That's be That's why she's not telling me. us. We should be prepared to stay for a while. Fortunately, we don't seem to lack supplies, and even our motley crew has people who can keep their cool when the stakes are high. Just focus on taking care of yourselves. I'll figure out the rest. 